plastic. It's everywhere. It's in our homes, it's in our pockets, it's in our bloodstreams. But how much do we really know about it? Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're looking at the most extraordinary and possibly controversial facts surrounding plastic. If we solve the plastic problem, we would at the same time solve a lot of our social problems. Number 5. Lego wants to stop using petroleum based plastic. Everything is awesome. In an ambitious but respectable move by LEGO, the world-famous Danish toy company has set a goal to completely rehaul the production process and halt their use of ABS, an oil-based plastic, by 2030. This proves to be a daunting challenge, as LEGO produces over 60 billion ABS-based bricks a year and must invest millions of dollars into finding a new, oil-free alternative that will still feel and look exactly the same. Luckily, there are various alternatives in the production of plastic. Scientists from Stanford University have found a way to produce plastic from inedible plant material and carbon dioxide, a concoction that could potentially replace petroleum-based plastics. There also exists a synthetic plastic called gallolith, which comes from a protein found in milk called casein. Unfortunately, gallolith cannot be molded, and production stopped during World War II as milk was rationed and used as food. Number 4. Plastic is bad for you in unexpected ways. As if plastic wasn't controversial enough already, researchers found that phthalates, which are used in plastic products, can cause birth defect if pregnant women are exposed to a high quantity of them. This can cause intellectual deficits in children, developmental and behavioral issues, and even genital abnormalities in males. New research done at UCLA also shows that the chemical BPS, a replacement for the controversial BPA, can alter reproductive systems and accelerate embryonic development. Their experiments were conducted on zebrafish and caused the egg hatching process to speed up unnaturally, resulting in a premature birth. And as for that diabolical plastic packaging that everyone hates but nobody seems to do anything about? According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, over 6,000 Americans are sent to the emergency room every year for injuries from trying to open these packages. They were in a sealed plastic package. I'm the first one to ever open them. Number 3. Plastic waste could move to the depths of the ocean because of plankton feces. It's no secret now that there's a crazy overabundance of plastic litter in the ocean. This contentious matter has been the topic of discussions for years, but the situation could get a whole lot worse. A recent study published in the journal Environmental Science and Technology suggests that the microscopic feces of zooplankton could be filled with plastic. These zooplankton eat tiny pieces of plastic that are smaller than one millimeter, and when they defecate, these microplastics mix with their feces and float to the ocean depths. It's estimated that there are over 5 trillion pieces of microplastics currently floating in the water. This is also problematic because many creatures ingest plankton as a food source. As you can imagine, consuming plastic causes a host of problems on an ecological scale. Number 2. New technologies are being tested to reduce sea-based plastic pollution. Lucky for our oceans and the creatures living within them, there are ideas that will hopefully reduce the massive amount of plastic waste currently floating in the water. A group called the Ocean Cleanup currently have an idea to place long, floating barriers in the water that can catch and stop trash as it floats by on the ocean currents. Once trapped, this debris will then be extracted back to land for recycling. The company is preparing for deployment in 2020, and they claim that a 100-kilometer-long cleanup array can remove up to 40% of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch over a 10-year period. There is also a device called the Seabin, which aims to be in use by late 2016. Effectively acting like a fish tank filter, the sea bin literally sucks up trash and other harmful debris while spitting out clean water back into the ocean. It operates 24-7 and claims to be completely safe for fish and other aquatic animals. Number 1. Plastic decomposes much faster in the ocean than on land. On land, plastic clutters landfills, as it takes hundreds of years for a piece of plastic to fully decompose. However, put a piece of plastic in the ocean and it degrades surprisingly quickly. Researchers from Neon University have discovered that polystyrene decomposes in water within a year under the right weather conditions. Interestingly enough, there are some surprising ways in which plastic can safely decompose. For example, students from Yale University recently discovered a type of fungus in the Amazon that can survive on a diet of polyurethane, a common form of plastic. Scientists have also recently found that bacteria in the gut of a wax worm could also degrade polyethylene. Finally, researchers from North Dakota State University have made a discovery that could lead to a fully degradable plastic when exposed to a specific type of light. While solutions are still being sought, it's comforting to know that there is some hope for the future. This is called farming! You kids are going to grow all kinds of plants! Vegetable plants! So what's your opinion on plastic? Do you think that the great cleanup will be a success? 
For more biodegradable top 10s and plastic pooping top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. We are from the planet Duplon. We are here to destroy you.